Okay, so let's quickly take a look at how Auto Loader works in Photoshop. I'm going to use these 77 photos I've got here from a, a wedding I shot last year. But it's it's been worked out that on average, for if you were processing 500 photos, it works out that it takes you about 10 seconds per photo to actually save the old one and reload the new one. So it, it's, a, it's a, something like 83 minutes you've wasted opening and closing photos in Photoshop for every 500 photos you take and that's a lot of time that's nearly an hour and a half per 500 photo wedding so how can autoloader benefit you how can it speed up your workflow what we're going to do is go into Photoshop and show you how how this works using these 77 photos now when you download the autoloader software it's very simple to install you just um, open their executable file and you load it into Photoshop follow the instructions and once it's in you go to file automate and then autoloader 3 set now all you need to do then is you you have this uh, dialog box here with your file loading options and your file saving options so all you need to do here first of all is click on this square here and find your uh, files for the wedding which is there we've got wedding so we click that OK and we know there it's been confirmed that we're using that file now it works on file types of JPEG, TIFF and PSD but I know I'm only working on JPEGs uh, so that's fine now at this point as the photos load you can actually run an action on every single photo as it loads um, now most people don't do that you want to work on the photo first but you have the option also to run the action immediately after um, you've worked on the photo and before it is saved so it saves the same action every time again it's just good if you're maybe uh, running a load of photos through and you want to do a black and white action on every single photo then obviously you can do that but the file saving options you can either choose another folder altogether or just save the files in the source folder so we're going to click that and we're going to save the files and overwrite the old JPEGs uh, just for this example but a lot of the time you may want to save them to a different folder and we're going to set the level to 12 the JPEG level um, and we're not going to set any actions running on this occasion and we're going to enable turbo mode which is a lot faster uh, you can also if you wanted to load the files in reverse order so go from on a time scale go from the the last photo you took right through to the first we're going to do it in the normal order so you've done that very very simple as you can see you just set the the options here and then click save and close then all you need to do is just use the preset um, actions and for this uh, sorry the preset keyboard um, actions that you've preset before you actually set everything up and while you're setting up the auto loader and for this I've just used control and full stop so if I press that now you can see it brings up the first image in that batch so let's just say that I'm working on it I do a bit of this bit of that um, I've maybe done some levels and curves all I need to do to save that over the old photo and to load the new one is again to press control full stop that one saves, new one opens as quick as that. Finished on that one, open and save. Open and save, there we go. It just It's so quick, it's so fast and intuitive. You can reel through your photos a lot quicker and you're gonna save, of that 10 seconds it takes to uh, save one old photo and reload the new one, you're gonna save about 9.9 .9 of those seconds. It's gonna rattle through all of your wedding photos or whatever photos you're working on. So once again, we've been working on this, maybe run a couple of actions or two. Control full stop, saved and opened. Control full stop, saved and opened saved and opened it's that quick if you weren't doing it this way you would have to go file either save or save as save it through to where the photo is and then once you've done that once that image is finished you would have to click and go and find the photo and reopen it again and it just takes so much time but with auto loader it's done so quickly and the beauty is if you come out of Photoshop and reload it and you're halfway through a batch just press control full stop and it will start off where you left off, where you closed it from. So it remembers your settings, it remembers where you got to. So if you're processing 1500 photos, you can only manage 500 in the first day, turn your computer off, turn it all back on again, and then just keep going where you left off. And it just rattles through the photos. So if you haven't got a copy of this yet, and you've got anything from I think CS3 or above, I totally recommend you get hold of a copy of this, especially if you're prone to um, processing large batches of images if you're a wedding photographer that kind of thing so I hope that helps but I really really would recommend you get hold of a copy of this it totally speeds up your workflow